Hey, it's me again, and this is a random breakout. Sands of yoga class season. And I just saw so many cheesecakes in a row down there, so. Well, it is what it is. But then again, I guess if you're spending 2,900 diamonds on playing this one thing, I suppose you would want to try to give yourself some luck. Luck through cheesecake, I suppose. But what horrible thing? She was mugged, I guess. Random buff. Well, at least I got something for it, I suppose. I thought I was just gonna come out of this empty handed since I had no buffs and no coin treasures either. I could have picked gingerbread, but I think that's probably something that I shouldn't stoop to. As of yet, I think. My bar for acceptable thing. It's pretty low, but hey man, I'm not gonna do gingerbread, alright? That's just a little crime. Either that or you're at the end of a line and you just wanna take the gingerbread for the shits and giggles. But I get then again, I do hope you get coins early, I suppose. It's always fun to play with more buffs than none, you know? Even if those buffs aren't the most revolutionizing thing on this earth, or earth bread, as the cookies would like to call it. But oh well. Yeah, we are not reaching our 10,000 coin quota in any life of this dude or the next, you know? No matter how many firecrackers we throw. Firecrackers. I mean, I guess it makes sense why they would be banned here, I suppose. Nobody wants to start a fire, you know? I mean, if you really want to have fireworks, you have pyrotechnicians for that kind of thing. I mean, it is still mildly disappointing that, you know, we can't play fireworks here. But it makes sense. So, there's that. One, two. There we go. Cause it's like, if a fire started here, you know, I think like a quarter of Singapore, a quarter of the whole place would just be gone. You know, 11,000 points for all jelly. Oops. I just forgot cheesecake was in the I didn't even see her, man. I was so focused on the buffs. <laughs> Just look at how beautiful my dress is. Ain't it, cheesecake? Ain't it? Just gonna focus on getting coins, dead points, because. Oh, that right. Anyways, because it's just more useful in the long run. You know, 100k is usually the number you wanna go for at the very least. Because it finishes up all your missions at once. So there's that. And two. Come on. There we go. A bit of a shame we have a treasure which is the microchip one which takes away a few of our coins but I mean it's not that bad I suppose so it's it's fine man it's fine anyways in other unrelated news you know to cookie run or anything at all as usual it's yarn I told you I had a bunch of yarn in just this gigantic bag in my house Cause I went a bit fun, I mean, you know, like, okay, so maybe going crazy over buying yarns because I thought I could make them to wool was not the best decision ever, but look, man. Anyways, moving on. Cause I can't use the yarns and cut them into wool either. So, around the past week, I've been just trying to find ways to use up the yarn. And then, um, I guess I found some. I figured out some of the yarn I used could be fitted into needles, so I could always just do embroidery as a sort of last resort, if anything else, you know? Creveling, if I'm not wrong, is what you call it. Embroidering with yarn. I could also try macrame with my yarn. Or, oh, let's have energy drain then. Miss Alchemist. Third one, thank you. There we go. Meh, nothing too fantastic here. Let's just pull again. Um, 200% for coins earned, mini magnetic aura, all the shield is active. Now, this is interesting, but I think I still want to. Oh, 3000. You know what? We are taking this one time with 20 energy. That's basically half a legendary buff at this point. So let's take some of Right, traveling and yarn. I could always just do Makrame with it. I know I'm butchering the name, but whatever, man. It is what it is. Yeah! Why am I so bad at this game? Come on, let's try again. Alright. I'm gonna do something with you. Maybe tie a little bit. Um, Yeah. 
I guess in the end, I'll just use my yarn for whatever, you know, whatever I can find. Embroidery, um, macrame, punch kneading. Oh yes, that's what I wanted to talk about. I've been really interested in punch kneading ever since I saw it. It's such an odd concept to me. And then, okay, well, it didn't help that, like, there was this absolutely fantastic artist I found on Instagram who makes, like, photorealistic sort of creations with punch needles. Because when she uses the thread and pokes it in, she has her needles custom made. So they use, like, your normal sewing thread. And then she pokes them in and cuts them out from the other side. And the threads, because they're so fine, they look like, well, realistic at the end of the day. And they have the texture also of a 3D object. And it's like, wow, that's amazing. I mean, it's not exactly my kind of thing, of course. I just really like the texture, but like, that's just so cool, man. Like, like some people are just so good at art. It's, it's really amazing. Like, that is amazing. Okay, I just cannot get over it. Yeah. I missed another cut again. Oh my god, I really need to stop doing that. Hush. And barely any coins again. Ugh. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. There are some things you just gotta do for the sake of an epic. Of course, all these things that I just mentioned need a lot of money. Well, except for the embroidery one. I could always just reuse my embroidery for even though I know I'm not supposed to do that. And like, the needles? I can just, I mean, I can always just like spit the yarn up into the three tiny little threads and use them. Which is what I'm planning to do because I have no idea where to find yarn needles that are actually that big in real life. So, there's that. Honestly, on all counts, 430 million points isn't really that bad. Especially if it's on a third place runner. But who knows. 20,000 points for frozen bear jellies. 20,000. It's actually quite a lot, but... I don't want to retry. I want to get coins. I don't want to get stuck with oh, create various coins upon landing giant mob. Would that be better than this lady? Um, but this is very dependent, and I could just get normal. Yeah, let's just take orange. She'll be my pick for now. Cause typically people use like wait yeah that's what I was talking about embroidery. Cause typically people use um different embroidery hoops. Or, you know each different embroidery project but like i just kind of thought that it's just too i don't have enough money it's basically the point i'm trying to make i can't i can't afford that you know so there's that it's a bit sad but it is what it is you know i'm just gonna have to find an alternative or just leave it as it be no i'll leave it as it is oh my english is getting worse by the day anyway this is some sort of cognitive decline or something but i think this is just me just being me i'm just stupid you know Stupid as the day I was born. A wee little baby popped out from the womb. It's not a very smally discomforting image to have in my mind, but whatever, let's just not think about being born. Maybe not, alright. This is hmm. Definitely a channel. I was about to say family friendly, but I seriously don't think it is, so who knows man, who knows? <laughs> One, two. There we go. And then we revive again. Please give us that speed. One, two. There we go. 15th place. Not too bad, not too bad. But I still really want my coins. Hello. Let's move on from this. Anyone that's good here. Maybe pirate, but I don't really know either. Let's pull, let's pull. Um, well, not great. I suppose. Mini magnetic or blast mode. None of these are good, man. 20% faster base speed in bonus time, 1% slower base speed. Sure, I don't mind that actually. Like, like just for real. I don't even care about the buff that much. I just wanna be able to get like 30k coins at the very least, you know? I don't want this to be one of those runs where it's like, I just end up never getting a single buff in Alchemist at all. Just because of bad RNG, you know, like, it just ain't fun, yeah, it just ain't fun. One, two, there we go. Let's try to maximize our speed as much as possible. Not because of any particular thing, but I think I just find it fun. <laughs> One, two, there we go. Come on, man, you can do it. You can give me. 
my desire. Girl of DK coins, you can do it. For some reason, the wind is really strong and I don't know why. It suddenly just kind of opened the door behind me. And there was... Hmm... Definitely a thing that happened. <sighs> it really reminds me. The other day, I was thinking about like, what my dream house would be like. I actually don't really know. Considering house prices, I think it's uh, probably a pretty naive thing to hope for, I suppose. A house of my own, but what can you do, man? What can you do? I ain't rich, but this is what I got. And I think it's not too bad, honestly. I don't know. I was thinking, maybe I could have a house where it's like just a big studio. I mean, that would be cheaper, right? Instead of a place of rooms, just give me like a big old empty place. As long as it has a kitchen, a bathroom, an aircon, and a fan, that's kind of it. You know, I'm not really wishing for anything else outside of that. You know? Like, I'm just saying. And then I would have all these different tables for all the stuff I wanted to make. Like, just a big table in the middle. And then I could just sleep in on the floor or something, you know? Like, I'm used to that. Anyways, it's cheaper than having an actual bed, I suppose, so... Oh my god, what? What is it? I don't know, man. This is a bit... Like, in retrospect, I think it's, it's actually... This is kind of sad, isn't it? Like, even when I'm thinking about my dream house, I still can't help but, like, subconsciously factor the cost in and how much it would pay and which one is cheaper or something like you just have your dream house in your imaginary mind palace or something you know like why are you thinking about budgeting and money in your dream in your in your own imaginary world that's that's just sad oh francis no <laughs> oh well well time to use the catch-all phrase is what it is because i feel like if i don't say it every five seconds i'm gonna get terribly Terribly down in the dumps about all this stuff I'm telling you. Cost of living and all. It ain't the thing that gets you up in the morning, that's for sure. It definitely ain't. Alright, well. There's nothing particularly fantastic here. So. Oh, it's you, Kapu no. 3000 points. Bear jellies. Ah, sure. What the heck. I don't really mind either ways. I actually quite like cappuccino. You know, like, like, just to be real honest here, other than the whole justice part, I really relate to like the fact that he's just tired and dead inside all the time. So there's that. I don't know why, like, like his character model is something awesome. I kind of just really like, like, I don't know how to say it. Like this, and I know this is gonna sound stupid, but like, this is my dream board, I'm telling you. Like, actually. You're like kind of having hair, you know, it's kind of long, and then I get to wear a suit or a robe or whatever. Like, I don't know, man. There's just something so appealing about that. I think it's also because I see some of myself in him, you know, mostly just the, the tired out of his mind part. But yeah, that's kind of what it is. That's why I really like this dude a lot, you know. He's so tired looking. Look at those eyes. Oh, I see my soul in him. And my soul was lost a long time ago. Shish shish. Anyways, considering the fact that I'll probably start bawling sooner or later. Probably sooner than later, actually, at this point. I don't think we are ever gonna reach a cappuccino level of um, attractiveness or money, actually. I feel like, like my morals are definitely not in tandem with these guys. I know I'm not. Bro's like a sticker to the books, you know, but mine is just and then he's tired all the time because he's working Mine is just I'm tired because I'm tired, you know, because I'm sick. That's why I'm tired all the time Yeah, Bro's not sick. I mean, he's the healthiest he can ever be you Cannot tell me you are not healthy after taking two all-nighters in a row and then you're still able to go up and function the next day, man Like, no, bro Anyways, look at him, he's so cute, look at his little collapse sprite, oh that's, oh, that's cute. And I mean, I guess if you're talking about what I want to have, I don't know, I want to have like really long hair or something. It'll be cool. It's a weird dream, yeah, but whatever. I've always wanted to actually grow a beard. And not like a beard beard, I mean like, on stubble, you know. 
You know, when you see like those random people, this, this absolutely tired dude walking around the place looking at his zombie. And then he has this stubble on his chin. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to have. I'm already like halfway there, you know, so at this point. But it is what it is, okay? But anyways, physical attributes aside, I just wish I could own suits, you know, like more suits, you know. I have this thing for suits. I really like the word and I really like things with collars and buttons and everything. But like, I ain't got no money, you know? That like you gotta wear your $5 Pasa Malam t shirt. So. <laughs> and it is, well, yeah. And I guess it's kind of stupid in a way, I suppose. But I don't know, man. Like, I really just want to be able to reach the point where I can just wear, go inside in a pajama suit or something and like I don't even think about it that much because I really don't care you know like that's the sort of human hood I would like to reach honestly and yes as I've stated before <clears throat> I'm pretty much halfway there already with how my life has turned out but eh whatever you know Suits and failed dreams aside, it's been mildly thundery these days, I guess. Still warm as ever because, you know, it ain't, it ain't a tropical country for nothing, I guess, but eh, it's been raining quite a lot. But then again, I do suppose with El Nino and everything, maybe the weather kind of makes sense, who knows. And because we live, we definitely live in, on Earth, in this, in this universe, in this world, there's news about America everywhere, as always. And apparently they've got this hurricane somewhere where there's not supposed to be a hurricane. Like, where it's supposed to be a once in a 100 year occurrence and they have it. And I can't just think about it and being like, Huh, you know, really makes you wonder how like, climate denies brains function. I mean, there's no way they don't know that half of this stuff is actually real. I remember reading a very interesting video about it by H Bomber Guy. Like man, do I love that dude. <laughs> Anyways. Fanboy aside, um Yeah, I don't imagine that climate denies actually like think there's actually no problem with the climate. They're either just grifters or they genuinely just don't want to believe that we as humans have messed up our planet this much. Because to be honest with you. Honestly, like, I agree man, like, if I were just a slightly bit, di bit different, I would probably have gone down that path to, you know, like, it's, it's a horrifying, like, terrifying feeling, you know, every day you wake up, you know, and then all you can hear about is how, like, bad the world is, you know, how we're all just heading towards just complete disaster, and you know, like, none of our governments or world leaders or people who can actually do things about this stuff are doing anything because they're just too focused on fighting their pointless wars over whatever you know whether it be for profit for money for ideology whatever it is it's just and you know it's like yeah i get it man you know 20 years ago people were making stories about how the world of 2020 would be amazing you know it would be a utopia we would have like the technology the world peace will be achieved or something like that and sure it's idealistic but like it's also kind of sad in a way you know to see how like we have come to this state but you know what let's maybe not mention it here since this is the cookie game and i really shouldn't be talking about this kind of stuff because oh my god it, it makes me i feel like i weren't I feel like if I weren't as sick as I would, I feel like I would feel more about this. But at this point, it's kind of like... I'm gonna go grow desensitized of things, you know? Wait. Like, what's one climate disaster when you can have, like, five more happening at the same time, you know? So there's that. Whatever, let's not talk about that, baby. Anyways, um... I really need to stop following the horse. This is just not a good play. I didn't again, I don't think it was ever a play in the first in the first place. I'm just bad at this game. Gosh. But now that I think about it, in retrospect, there hasn't been too much lag actually. 
I'm not sure what. Maybe they fixed the servers. Maybe my phone was finally working. I don't really know which one it is, but either way, I'm really grateful for it. So thank you for that, I guess, game. But it didn't lag on me today. Oh, uh -huh. 86%. Ah, why not, man? What do I have to lose, you know? What do I have to lose? My, my diamonds? I already lost all of them. <laughs> the moment I tapped into this place. Anyways. Kind of shame on me for being a bad player, but I think I probably should have checked. If the scarecrow treasure really gives you points based on how much distance you travel it means. Cause I didn't notice. I thought it was based on time, just like all the other ones. But apparently not, you know? Apparently not. It works based on distance, it seems. At least unless my brain decides to play tricks on me, which is wouldn't be too out of character for it either, you know. And then there was also that tiny little part of me that thought that maybe it would be a good idea to start talking about how maybe we all aren't real and that the self is just a lie but you know what man i think we should just stick to the cookie yeah stick to the cookie cutters and the cookies and the wool let's maybe not think about a lot of existentialist stuff right now which is probably not gonna end well for anyone especially you all right Speaking of sad things, oh my god, this gameplay, Jesus. Ugh. There was a compilation for just worst cookie run players in the world. I would reach number one on the list, you know. I mean, breakthrough, man. 392 million, that mildly, mildly concerning. But alright, let's just try again, I guess, you know. And hope that maybe a miracle happens and my fingers start working like they have fine motor control of my days of younger but probably not one and two there we go let's fall underneath because i do not trust myself to be able to make all those jumps without hitting something at the very least one two three three four oh you're a real life saver man all right thank you okay we got past the more dangerous part let's just hope uh, we will be blessed all right there we go 438 Million. Not too bad, not too bad. And then we have finished out our quarter, so Alchemist will be coming to talk to us. Third portion, of course. Two random legendary buffs. Mm -hmm. Alright, energy drains. 10% slower. Well, this would be good if it weren't for the fact I don't actually have any buffs that pertain to Fire Blast Jelly, so good for us i guess coins and what not um speed i don't know man the safe play here will be to go for miss pepper corn here um very tempted to go for vampire though whatever you know i mean you only live once you only play this exact same combi once i mean like who cares about results man you know i'm here to have fun not to min-max on my way through. Hey. Alright, let's do this. One, two. There we go. Yeah, what? Okay, I don't know why. I just dropped into a hole right there, but... Oh, well. I guess I just didn't notice, you know. Too distracted by all the shiny little lights. You know? You know, perhaps in hindsight, there was a lapse in judgement there. And I mean, like, a more of a lapse in judgement than my usual um, of life decisions, you know, to pick a cookie that does not give that many points, all just so I could have the satisfaction of that once a run fire blast moment, which only lasts for about a couple seconds or so, because of my gaming skills being unable to prolong my life further. But what am I if not the harbinger of bad decisions, you know? bad decisions from big to small from large to worse it's all bad all the way down i'm telling you but who knows i suppose when i'm dead in a few years i mean who's gonna remember me of course not with my cognitive abilities and decline you know i don't know i doubt i'll remember this exact same moment and be like oh i should have chose that different cookie and cookie get 
Like, no, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. No. You know? Oh, that's fast. Oh, yeah. Now, if only we had more moments like this. But unfortunately, you know, sometimes you don't get the luck of the jewel. And it is what it is. Oh, well. Speaking of being alive and whatnot, you know, I feel like there's just this sort of nonsense character if you really think about it. Like, who are you, man? Who am I? You know, like, I'm just one dude in a big white world. For all we know, this has happened countless times before. And for all I know, I am the most unique iteration of myself. And I will never come back to life after I die in this world. You know, like, just gone forever. I existed or not, you know, for just a few moments in time and that's it, honestly. I mean, it's really hard to wrap your mind around it. But you know, I mean, I'm just a puny little human, you know, maybe half a human, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I was ever meant to understand these kinds of things either. And even if I was, me? Nah, man, like, I ain't got the intelligence to philosophize like Diogenes or something. Like, it ain't happening. But anyways, um, unrelated commentary aside, let's just thank our comrades for running with us today. And yeah, that's it. Take care and love ya.